Nigeria's bloody conflict now in its fifth year has driven many out of business, but a select few have escaped bankruptcy by embracing newly prosperous markets affiliated with the war. CCTV's Al Ibrahim has the story. Profits are picking up for the most unusual of businesses here in this 700 years old souk. It is high times for the Mardini family. This market you see behind me, or souk, as it is called in Arabic, is one of the oldest in Damascus and the most famous. Asruzia souk was famous for its leather products and camping gear, but today the war has visited this place and taken the business for a detour. The Syrian war might have spelled havoc for many, but not for the business of making gun holsters, military gear, tactical vests, and anything a gun owner might need. And the consumer base just keeps growing. My family has been in the leather business for 60 years, making bags, belts, and gun holsters. But when the war started, I used our experience and expanded the business. Now we make military gear, uniforms, vests, and special bags. Many of my neighbors closed down their shops, and others left the country. We dive deeper into the ancient market, through the narrow alleyways, to find the workshop where the production takes place. There, we find the unexpected. Items not meant to be put on display. A tactical bag for a 12.7 millimeter sniper rifle. Needless to say, Mardini has no interest in disclosing his clientele list. On the workshop wall, a reminder of the old times when making badges was their main business. They made badges for the Saudi civil defense, Lebanese Boy Scouts, and Yemeni customs. Memorabilia from a time a world away. I used to be a computer technician, but there was no business, so I came here to work, and there is a lot of work here. Every day we get tens of customers, not to mention contracts for large orders. I never thought I would handle such things before the war. I had never even held a gun, and now I deal with them daily. Back in the store, the successful businessman explains his future plans. And this time of war, his business is certainly on the rise. A rise that signals a deadly cost for war-torn Syria. Allah Ibrahim, CCTV, Damascus.